This wake-up call is unique. Wake up, Rosetta! All over the world, people are shouting as loud as they can to wake a certain Rosetta from her slumbers. In this case, however, shouting alone is not enough. Stronger weapons must be brought to bear. Darmstadt, 20th January 2014. The control centre of the European Space Agency, ESA. Space travel history is about to be made here today. In a few minutes, the researchers expect a sign of life from Rosetta after 957 days in sleep mode. Rosetta is on a once-in-a-lifetime mission, over 800 million kilometers from Earth. To save energy, the probe has been flying through space in hibernation mode for two years. Its destination, the comet churyumov gerasimenko a mixture of rock, ice and dust. It is set to contain primordial matter from the beginning of the solar system 4.6 billion years ago. The bold plan? Rosetta is to land a transporter onto the comet. But first, it has to wake up. A highly complicated mission that this man came up with. Engineer Dr. Reiner Best and his team from Airbus Defence and Space built Rosetta. Looking back, it was my most important project. You could say it's almost like a baby. A baby that doesn't get any bigger, that still has to be guided, but can already do some things autonomously. The biggest challenge? Rosetta's energy supply. Reiner Best has come up with a special idea. 30 meter long solar cell wings. They supply the space probe with energy, even millions of kilometers away from the sun. After seven years of development, Rosetta was ready to be launched into space. It was actually the most beautiful thing to see Rosetta go into space at the top of an Ariana 5. And then we actually got rid of Rosetta in a good sense, finally, so she could begin her journey. On 26th of February 2004, Rosetta is launched into space from the Kourou spaceport in French Guyana. In order to have enough energy for the long journey, the space probe had to be put into hibernation mode two years ago. Since then, Reiner Best can only guess how Rosetta is doing up there. The space probe has been on the move for so long that it has enough speed to catch up with the speeding comet. At the moment, no one knows whether it has survived all this unscathed. Electronic parts could have broken, but there could also have been interference from outside, and it's collided with meteorites. That's the tension we feel, and it would be bad if it didn't work out. Although Reiner Best has been retired for five years, he definitely doesn't want to miss the wake-up manoeuvre. In the control centre, he gets an update from his former companions. The wake-up call can be compared to booting up a computer. Several hours pass before the signal from Rosetta arrives on Earth. So now, Dr. Best and his old crew have to wait. This has to start now. If the equipment on board does not start, the mission will be considered a failure. All the years of work would have been in vain. The redeeming moment, Rosetta wakes up. I'm totally relieved. It was a very long wait and the tension was very high and I was a bit worried. But thank God my optimism has been confirmed. In November, the Minilab is due to land on the comet. Space scientists are comparing the project to the 1969 moon landing. 